Hi, I'm Bob Power with OTC Markets Group. Today we're pleased to be joined by James Collins, Head of Investor Relations at J. Sainsbury, which trades on our OTCQX best market under the symbols JSAIY and JSNSF. James, welcome to the Market Center and thanks for joining us. Thank you, Bob. Tell us a bit about J. Sainsbury. So Sainsbury is, is a 150-year-old uh, grocer in the UK. Um, we operate in, in what is an extremely competitive market across both grocery, which is the largest bit of our business, but also general merchandise. Uh, and we retail through um, roughly 2,000 stores and also online where we have a very significant presence. Can you talk about Sainsbury's evolution in transforming the business to meet the rapidly changing landscape of online retailing? Yeah, so we have a commitment um, to our customers to serve them wherever and whenever and effectively however they want. So, so that means that as consumers, customer shopping habits change, you know, we're there to meet that. So whether that's online, through convenience stores, through big out-of-town stores. Um, and so online is a rapidly growing part of our business. So it's growing at the high single digits in grocery and it's already a good proportion of our sales. Uh, and we also bought a couple of years ago a business called Argos, which is uh, the third most visited website uh, in the UK. Um, and it's a general merchandise business that has more than 60% of its sales online. Um, so, and together that delivers fantastic service for customers in terms of being able to service their needs whichever way they like. Thanks. Related to that, how has the company revolutionized its product offerings to meet the needs of changing consumer lifestyles and to encourage, for example, healthy eating? So the Sainsbury's brand has always had a reputation for delivering a slightly better quality of product, uh, more range, more choice, and a good in-store and online experience. And so that's a real focus for us. Um, at the same time, we need to make sure that we are very competitive on core commodity products, but that brand means that we are really focused on innovation. In recent years, that's been around vegan, around flex flexitarian type of products, um, as you said, on a, on a health focus, um, and of late, um, a real focus on free from products for the increasing number of customers who have food allergies. So that's been a big focus for us, both in ambient and, and fresh foods. Can you talk about Sainsbury's commitment to sustainability, social, and environmental responsibility? With our brand being as old as it has, we've always grown up with a reputation that consumers expect us to um, do things the right way. Um, and that's a real expectation for consumers of the Sainsbury's brand. So we deliver on that. So um, we were one of the first retailers involved in the Fair Trade Foundation, and we're now the world's biggest retailer of Fair Trade. Um, and then if you look at other key issues such as food waste, um, such as uh, reducing the amount of plastics and wastage within our business, that's been a real focus for us where we've made a lot of progress. Often you make that progress best through collaborating as an entire industry, um, but we would expect you know, to be leading the industry in terms of our developments there. Congratulations on that progress. Finally, as an evolving retailer with a portfolio of strong brands, how does trading on OTCQX market help create value for the company's U.S. and North American shareholders? So for us, it's an extremely cost-effective way of accessing uh, a different investor base uh, through the U.S. Um, and so uh, for us, it provides everything that we need in terms of the regulations, the compliance, uh, to be able to access those investors. So it works extremely well for us. Well, James, thanks for that excellent update. We appreciate you visiting with us here at the Market Center, and we wish you and the company continued success. Thank you, Bob.